Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the next video of our house building series, where we're building the house start to finish, and filming everything in between. The good, bad, ugly, and sometimes boring. But this week's video, what we're going to be doing is working on a big problem we have, and that is above me, there's a giant window where there shouldn't be a window. Let me show you that there. So up here, we don't have a roof yet, and it has been raining, and all this rain is getting on the floor here, but we went ahead and put some water sealer down before. That's in another video. Uh, so that's been protecting the floor pretty good. But what we have to do is get these uh, ceiling joists up and get the roof on there to uh, keep out some of this water and keep us moving on the project. But before we do that, above me here, we have to put in some beams and I haven't cut the uh, pockets out yet for the beams. So I'll be working on the walls, getting some uh, some uh, sections cut out and re-supported for uh, beams put up there for the uh, joists to hang on or sit on actually and that's going to hold the roof up and yeah so it's going to be a pretty, pretty fun process to do that and uh, I'm not sure how how long we'll be working on that today because it's going to be raining here pretty soon I think but the rest of the week should be good so I think we're going to get a lot of stuff done so before it rains uh, let's, let's get going and see what we can get done today All right, I know I've talked about these beams probably in like three different videos, but this is the last time. So anyways, we have a, uh, it's gonna be a four by 12 beam that's gonna be sitting up there, but I have to uh, cut a little pocket out there and re-support the bottom there for a beam to go across. And that'll attach over there, but I need to cut a small pocket out there for the beam and then put supports in the bottom there. And I don't have the scaffold today, so I'll be up on the extension ladder trying to get that done. And then above me, there's another beam, but I won't show you that one until it's done. Well, next day here, because yesterday we got rained out, but while it was raining, took the time to go get the scaffold. I uh, got that put up this morning and finally put this big beam up there. And what we're using here is two by 12s that are triple stacked. And yesterday we went ahead and made the supports there in front of the wall. And then in the beam there, I cut the little just a little notch out of the top there so that top plate could uh, tie into it and put some nice uh, eight inch timber lag screws in there. That's gonna hold that together nice. And did another uh, support up there for that one. And then we're moving along here for this next beam that's gonna go from there all the way down to that corner and we have that cut out. But it has to have some uh, uh, joist hangers on it and we're gonna cut some uh, extra material off the beams there to get those joist hangers on. All right, so we have the three beams cut out for the inside there. And the uh, joist hanger here, it's a, uh, a four inch joist hanger. But if you stack together three of these, then that's four and a half inches. So the outside boards there, I already made a little mark there. Have to cut off, uh, shave off just a quarter inch there so that uh, joist hanger will fit over it. But pretty simple job to do it. Well, I finally got this middle beam up here. Uh, wasn't wasn't too hard, I guess. Just had to get things adjusted and moved around, and got that bracket put in there. Fits in there like a glove. Like a glove. And I don't have any any little uh, fancy tools, uh, air tools to put these nails in. So I just got to get my clip nails from my nail gun and just take one nail off at a time and. So every hole with nails, so that's going to take a few minutes to do that, but this beam's not going anywhere. And especially since got this gap nice and tight there, 
the weight is pushing down so it's not going to fall down and then on that end down there is sitting on these uh, supports down there so this this thing is solid not going anywhere and I just have to come back and uh, put nails all down the center there and then put those, uh, those big timber screws on the bottom there and come up here and put timber screws at the top and get this all all locked together but the rain was coming went away and now it's a nice day hopefully we can get these beams done today and next day here yesterday we got the beams up there got this long one above the living room this uh, the long one above the kitchen and this little hallway one right there that wasn't too bad to do uh, just kind of a little bit time consuming and hard to get those uh, those beams up there because they're so big but task for today is finally starting on the roof here getting these uh, ceiling uh, rafters in here joists and this is about the bedroom we're gonna start about the bedroom here and get this little section done and then hopefully move over here and get this section done above the uh, kitchen there that's probably kind of hard to see here there's all kinds of stuff in the way but I'll try to get a little better video of that one when we're putting it up I just saw just uh, got all these rafters cut out here I have uh, nine for the top section and nine for the bottom section uh, it's got uh, two of the two right by 16s went up on the roof and uh, marked out two of them got the measurements perfect and came back down here and made them into a template and cut the rest of these but these are the uh, bottom notches there and to get these notches all I had to do is just Get the uh, square there and bring it down to the uh, 212 angle there and made my mark like I did right there and then from the bottom there came out six inches because six inches is the thickness of my wall including the OSB and just brought my square up here until along this line there until that line and that line matched up and made a line across there cut it and I get the perfect notch there to rest on the top of the wall there so these are all cut out here so let's go ahead and get these put up there Uh, nice got the part done on the bottom for covering the bedroom and got the bottoms lined up 16 on center now it's gonna come around here getting the lumber all stacked up ready to do this top part there above the kitchen and hopefully that's gonna be done today 
because I'm tired and ready to go home. All right, so we just got that section up and then went ahead and cut out one and got the template so I could go from that wall up to this living room wall. Those are the uh, two by, by 20s. So I got one perfect and got the rest cut out. Got a couple up there just to make sure the fit's right. And now we're going ahead and getting the rest stacked up here along there so we can get them put up on the wall here and get them nailed down. and. Hopefully get some shade in here pretty soon. All right, so this is a lot of wood up there. It's kind of hard to see what's what's going on here. I thought I was going to show you on the plans here. So this is the entryway. We come in the front door. And this is a section that we did yesterday with the 16s across there and the 16s across there. And then this morning, we went across there and did this whole section here of the 20 footers. And then this is our three beams that you saw us put in. And then we have the section of 12 foot long ones that goes in here. We just got those cut, but the rain is coming, so we're gonna start that tomorrow. So then we'll get those up. And next thing we have to do is this section here and this, this little section here above the uh, entryway. And then once that's done, we'll come out here and build the uh, covered porch entryway. In the back, a covered porch there for the back. And that should be it for the framing. See here, uh, these ones are marked at, at 24 inch on center. But with 24 inch on center, go up here, you only get a, a 10 PSI roof load. And, that probably won't be enough here since sometimes we get some some big heavy snows. So I did the two weights, but a 16 inch on center, and that'll give us 30 uh, pounds per square foot, which will be plenty to hold the load of a heavy uh, like March snow when they're nice and wet. But that's gonna be it for right now, and we go home before the rain comes, and we'll see you here again tomorrow.
So if the video is a little hard to see from the ground, kind of what I'm up here doing is uh, I put these um, half inch OSB pieces on each side, then these next ones just slip right into the pocket and then I'll nail these ones on, on both sides. But what that helped us is uh, just keep them aligned so they're not gonna twist or fall over or anything like that and keeps them together. So just making a little, little slot there, going all the way down and definitely makes it easy when I get these, these next ones put in, then they're not, these ones aren't tipping over or anything like that and they're nice and strong and got those ones up there for the next ones. And yeah, hopefully we can get a lot done today. It's a nice cloudy, cool day. Hope it stays that way, it doesn't turn into rain. But I'm gonna keep on going with these ones and I hope I can get this roof uh, done today. All right, finally got all these rafters put up here. It's definitely been a, a long week getting this up here, but had a little help, so that was always nice. And everything's up here. There's still a little bit of a leak in the roof for this uh, rain here, but we'll get to that next week. We'll get the uh, outside overhang put on and top and bottom. Uh, I don't even know what those boards are called right now. The, uh, the boards for the fascia to go on been a long week I'm kind of tired here and we'll get the overhangs on this other side done and then we'll put the sheathing on and then some waterproofing membrane on top of that and then we should be all good to uh, get this place nice and dried in and then we'll put doors and windows in house wrap and all that fun stuff but that's gonna be for the next video so everyone thanks for watching so much and I'll see you for the next one